me, spirituality is all about self-healing, it's all about self-responsibility, it's all about self-growth, it's all about learning and growing, maturing, taking responsibility, owning up, being able to not only be honest with yourself, but to be honest with other people. It's about honesty. That's what spirituality is about. You could also call it truth, for me, in my opinion. It's about truth, honesty, honesty realness, authenticity, um, genuinity, being genuine, genuineness. It's about not hiding and putting up the, the walls and the barriers. It's about letting go of everything that doesn't serve, everything that's false, the falsehood, the dense, the untruth. It's about opening up your chakras, about letting go and then opening up. Letting go of the false, fake, dense, unreal. The hurts, the wounds, the density, the pains, the childhood issues, the traumas. And then opening up to the truth, the glamour of life, the, the beauty. Sharing the beauty, thinking the beauty, feeling the beauty, the love, the goodness, the positivity, the heart-centered feelings and thoughts. And then expressing heart-centered behavior like I was describing very practically because spirituality isn't about spirituality it's about spirituality and physicality because physicality spiritual, physicality is the place where you express the spirituality in the third dimension while we're here so physicality is absolute spirituality you have to be aware of the power and importance of daily physical life it's pretty amazing guys that's a very profound thing for me to say because that's the truth your daily life is an expression of your spirituality or your 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 unbudding of spirituality depending on the place of growth where you're at so um, s spirituality for me isn't about learning tricks like it's not a, it's not about like it's just about this deep down core stuff, you know, with yourself. It's about self-love and self-joy and self-honesty. And when you, the more you, you learn, and it's also spirituality, about learning and growing and honesty. And then the more you learn, then you learn about self-love and self-joy or self-happiness. And that's when your life becomes an expression. You do things, the physicality, the physical becomes a behavioral point based around self-love and universal unconditional love for everybody it becomes an expression of self-happiness so what you're doing what you're chasing and what you're doing and what you're creating in life what you're um what you're creating and making bud and blossom is based around the ideals of self-love and self-happiness combined with universal love and helping other people have other people's happiness it's about self-love and nurture, and it's about other people love and nurture and happiness. Nurture, blossoming, growing, healing. It's about self-healing and other people healing. But it does folks start at yourself, because if you don't know the first part about self-love, and you get confused and lost in loving others, this is when loads of people, um, they blow, like I was saying earlier about ratio, degrees and balance. What people do is they they lose themselves in the idea of loving others to the abandoned self-neglect and abandonment of themselves they lose themselves they become burnt out sad depressed unfulfilled they become maybe fat and i don't mean that as an insult guys I, like people call me slim or skinny it's just a word they become they become skinny maybe they don't eat or else they overeat, they neglect themselves, they don't exercise, they don't move their body, which is a natural practice in nature of all animals, all species. So when we diverge away from naturalness and we don't move our, our beautiful temple, we, we suffer and we become maybe unwell and we lose energy and vitality. And we become unmotivated. That's when you, when you neglect yourself, you become unmotivated. When you neglect healing, you, fear can build up and all sorts of stuff build up and you need healing then. You need to manage your life. So it's not about kicking your ass, like kicking your own ass to the curb just because you think it's good to like help other people. That's imbalanced. You want to help others, but you want to help yourself. <laughs> so the more you help yourself and love yourself, the more you become a spring 
in a fountain that's overflowing has so much to give other people. Like in my life, I've ma I've made lots of videos and I produce videos regularly like this. And if I wasn't looking after myself physically, many spiritual people they're still like not honest with themselves about food. They like to think food is like they're just not honest with themselves. They just they don't want to face the inconvenience of, of realizing food is extremely important. What we put in our body, food, drink, drugs, anything, any chemistry whatsoever, be it food or drug, it's the same thing. It's chemistry, it's electromagnetics, it's physics, it's electromagnetism. If you put, whatever you put in your body, it has a very profound effect. I know people who eat cheese and then they become aggressive the next day. I ate cheese last year or two years ago. Um, at one point um, and I felt like just so, such a bad mood I felt weird like drugged up and I felt grouchy and I felt like irritable I even I just felt physically mentally emotionally strung out or weird not good like and the same with like you know processed foods people just don't want to change their habits so for me the full bodied spiritual person will be very body mind spirit attentive not just mental and emotional or heart based physical too you don't just chuck one aspect of your being which is the physical out of the window and think um, that's not self-honesty about self-nurture and love you're nurturing yourself to getting cholesterol maybe an early death premature aging and lack a lack of fitness energy and vitality which of course affects your universal love and outward ability to nurture and be in a very positive good mood always or not always but as much as you can be so Anyway, I'm not judging anyone, of course. Like, I'm on my... I'm humbly <laughs> always learning and basically always doing my thing, making mistakes. Um, but people say I have a pure energy, and that's because I represent being able to just say... Because I'm able to just admit it if I'm wrong, or, like... Kind of if I'm right sometimes, but I don't. Not even not, not that I'm right, but the truth of why I did things, my my intentions or motives. Um, it, like I was saying earlier, that you shouldn't like Marianne Williamson or Return to Love. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are like powerful beyond measure. Our greatest fear is not that we <laughs> can't do stuff. Our greatest fear is that we can do everything. We kick ass. That's like my little. That's like. The, the, my way of saying the quote um, it's like our beauty, brilliance and amazingness, that's what we're afraid to be we don't want to stand out, we're afraid loads of people don't want to stand out Just like, so be, let go of the fear kick ass, own your brilliance own your mistakes and your like your part of your level of growth and when you do that you will let people be at peace because they, you won't be about you being all right or wrong it's about love, honesty and it's always good to admit your own um, mistake or part in any situation because it's not like yeah, you're all wrong. It's like, no, I'm wrong too because I played a big part in the situation. Let's love and hug each other. Let's be like kind and loving and hug, even if it's not a physical hug. Like, let's have an equality, you know. So, so everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I hope this video and this, this um, sharing has helped um, feel Please feel welcome to share the video, subscribe, um, favorite, um, you can support me, my life, my family, my loved ones and my channel and videos and messages, my work, by simply sharing, liking, subscribing, favoriting, hitting the like button as I said, leaving your comments, connecting with me either below the video or or on my website ownfox.org, it's like lots of more really free good content about all different subjects and I have one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching of body, mind, spirit um, one-to-one -one radiant, abundant spiritual life coaching of body, mind, spirit I have written two books so far, more coming um, and I have a Higher Self Herbs web shop you can see that below the herbs to supercharge, charge and to, re and to recharge your life, body, mind and spirit so have a look at that so any of these things is a way to support my life and I have a lot of love and gratitude for you having the attention and the people who've helped me so far in any of these ways as well as your love, care and kindness and the messages. Thanks so much everyone. Appreciate you being a part of my life and thanks for all your love and kindness once more. And don't forget, befriend me on Facebook and we connect much more because I'm a little bit of a madman hooligan posting a lot on Facebook.
see everyone have a beautiful blessed day and stay great the way you are and be honest even if you have a whole lot of wounds and traumas just get healing and keep keep letting go of the pain and learning and educating yourself how to heal and i'm with you and this is what the whole world is your oyster there's only good things coming your way you can get you anything okay bye